Dixon, and Jeremy Edwards. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we know you, Jeremy, from Holby and Hollyoaks, and yeah. uh, Gemma, we know you from Hollyoaks and EastEnders. You weren't in Hollyoaks at the same time, though, were you? No. No, no, unfortunately not. But you've worked together, though, haven't you? We have. We were both on Dancing on Ice together. And also, uh, we both voiced the lover's guide <laughs> in 3D. You voiced it in 3D. Yeah, it so, what's the lover's guide? It's, it's like a, a sex education video. Yeah, education. It was the only voice I've ever left <laughs> on the shelf after you cleaned up with all the others. It was the only one that... that was although, the... although me and Zander are doing this year's version. Oh, actually... <laughs> there you go. Well, listen, welcome to the show. Lovely to have you here. Very, very best of luck. Next, please welcome Tony. All drew lots before the show, and today you are going first. <laughs> Gemma, is this good for you? Not really. Um, luckily that Jeremy is a gentleman and has let me go first. Um, the only one I know is Gina G, who are just a little bit. Who are just a little bit, says Gemma. A little bit Let's more. See if that <laughs> Literally a little bit more we got there. Um, or a little bit less. Who uh, are just a little bit. Let's see if that's right. And if it is, let's see how many of our 100 people said who are just a little bit. Which is right. <laughs> Still going down, Gemma. Look at that! Three! <laughs> Masterful. A score of three. <laughs> just a little bit. Well played, Gemma. Very good start to your pointless career. She came eighth, but uh, just a little bit was a number one single in the UK. <laughs> Thanks, Richard. To go first. Let's reveal our five Muppets, and here they are. We have and Jeremy, you go first. I know, see, and that's the most. That's the most yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> Tactics. You've got an answer. Uh, we do, yes. We do. Um, we're playing it safe in the hope that they have no knowledge of the Muppets. <laughs> uh, because it's a bit dubious, our other answer. So we're going to go with C, Miss Piggy. C, Miss Piggy. Mm. Say Gemma and Jeremy. C, Miss Piggy. Now then, Greg. Oi! Wow. 93. <laughs> Graham and Derek have said Gemma and Jeremy. You can talk us through the board. Oh, I wish we could. The only one I know is the currency, which is yen. Yeah. And I thought, well... I, I don't even understand its internet, internet top-level domain. Oh, it's just words. Go for that. I mean, it'll be like JP or something. <laughs> Because the currency's not going to be bigger than the mountain, is it? So shall we take a punt at something else? Yeah. Can we punt and say Nagasaki for largest island? Nagasaki, largest island. Yes, you can. Thank you. So, we have Graham and Derek. <laughs> the trophy's getting further away. <laughs> Graham and Derek said Mount Fujiyama, the name of its largest island. It's a bit of a shot in the dark. There we are, Nagasaki. Let's see if that's right. Bad luck, Gemma and Jeremy. I'm afraid that's an incorrect answer, which means after only two questions, Graham and Derek storm into a lead there. Uh, two nil, straight through to the final. Richard. Sorry, Jeremy. It's the and, hair uh, and the tortoise. Gemma, the largest <laughs> yeah. island is Honshu. Honshu oh. is where you find Mount Fujiyama. And Honshu would have scored you nine points. Now, remind me again, Gemma, you said Jeremy was the clever one. Yes. Yeah. Remind me again your answer for the uh, internet top level domain. JP. Would be correct answer. No! And would have scored you 10 points. Oh, that was just my process of a little. Oh, oh no! We could have just gone for it. Yeah. Oh. Would have been worth a gamble. Would oh, have been I worth a gamble. I like committing Harry Curie. <laughs> the main unit of currency, you're right, is the yen. It would have been crazy to go for because it yeah. scored 88 points. Oh. Uh, you also would have won with the name of the emperor who succeeded Hirohito. Uh, it's Akahito. Akahito would have scored five points. So that's the best answer on the board. Dot JP. Oh. Thanks, Richard. So the losing pair at the end of the head-to-head, -head, Gemma and Jeremy, for heaven's sake, you played so well throughout the game. We're the two you... biggest fans of the show. <laughs> and you had JP. Yeah. But we got this far. We got this far. So we say goodbye to you, Gemma and Jeremy. Lovely having you on the show. Thank you so much for playing. Thank right. you. But for Graham and Derek, it's now time for our pointless final.